Hold it. I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bob. Starring Bob Cummings. Okay, Chuck, you can slide out. Well, I can always have it reupholstered, I guess. Now, <laughs> you, you stand by the phone in case your mother calls from Joplin. Gee, I, I sure hope Grandpa isn't hurt too bad. Chuck, when a man his age takes a bad fall, it's generally pretty serious. My gosh. Well, he shouldn't have been out driving a wagon at that age. No, no. I hope Mom can get him well. Yes, I sure hope so too, Chuck. Well, I'll be at the office if you need me. Grandpa. just left to fly to Joplin to take care of you. Yeah, I timed it pretty good, didn't I, son? Your letter <laughs> said you were hurt. No, no, it didn't, son. Yeah, it said you fell off the wagon last Thursday. Oh, well, that I did. You see, I hadn't had a drop since New Year's. <laughs> and the side her hardened on me, and uh, I tapped it. And a few neighbors dropped over. In fact, anyone that had more than two glasses dropped over. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I'll tell you, son, when this here Missouri cider decides to harden, <laughs> boy, you don't fool around, does it? Grandpa, do you mean you yes. deliberately tricked Mom into leaving town? Yes, yes, I did, son. I'll tell you, your mom is a wonderful woman. She's just wonderful, but she's mighty finicky about her housekeeping. And while I'm here, I'm intending to give a few parties for some old buddies of mine. <laughs> what old buddies? Who are the men that helped me storm San Juan Hill with Teddy Roosevelt? The men of the 1st U.S. Cavalry volunteers. Uncle Bob's going to be very upset with you, Grandpa. Oh, now, Chucky boy, I don't take orders from that there flyboy chicken colonel. <laughs> Drives one of them push button airplanes. Thinks he's a big shot. I'd like to see him ride a horse from here to Cuba. Gr That's across the ocean. Yeah. When we got there, we had to fight the Spaniards. Uphill, all the way. On a wet horse. <laughs> you know, I'm used to mite hungry. You ain't got nothing to eat, have you? Yeah, Mom left a whole turkey in the refrigerator. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> He's not here. He's not. No. Mm -hmm. Well, Pamela, what's up? I wish to schedule a sitting for my grandmother. Oh, say, I heard about her. Isn't she the woman that rode horseback all the way from Kansas? Just arrived in town two weeks ago. She must be a little old for that kind of riding. Grandmother is in her 80s, but she's still a superb horsewoman. She made the ride from Dodge City to promote her favorite cause. Oh, what's that? The horse's contribution to the opening of the West. I believe this little poem she wrote best explains it. In this age of the atom and jet, the noble horse we must not forget. He carried us west on hooves of iron, and now we must not let him down. <laughs> it's 
Superb horsewoman, but lousy poet. <laughs> Bob Collins, photography. Oh, hi, Chuck. No, he hasn't come in yet. No, not yet. You want, you want to leave a message for him? Boss. <laughs> Just a second, Chuck wants you. Oh, hello, Pamela. My goodness, what a surprise seeing you. <laughs> hello, Chuck. Uncle Bob, get a grip on yourself. Is it Grandpa? Yeah. Is he in danger, Chuck? He sure is. He's going to cut his throat. Look, I'll... <laughs> what? He's eating turkey with his sword. What are you talking about? Grandpa, he's here. Drove out in his old car. You, you mean all the way from, 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 from Joplin? Yeah, yeah. Sending for Mom was just a trick to get her out of the way. Put him on the phone, Chuck. Oh, okay, hold on. Each wind carrying a part of his tent. <laughs> Grandpa. Yes. Grandpa, Uncle Bob's on the phone. Chuck, you, oh, no, son. I never listen to on other people's conversations. It ain't for that, son. Now... Would you like to see a picture of me here with Teddy Roosevelt? Yeah, just a minute, Uncle Bob. He's right here. This here. Please, Grandpa. Check it. This is against my principles. Hello, Grandpa? Yeah? Look, just what do you think you're doing? <laughs> well, you don't have to shout, son. It was Chucky's idea that I eavesdropped. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Schulte, uh, oh, what can, what can I do for you, Pamela? No, I mean, I mean, professional. Oh, yeah, I'd like you to photograph Grandmother. Oh. You see, the only picture we have of her is one taken with Grandfather and their children. I see, uh, oh, my, that, that's, that's quite a family, isn't it? Uh, Schulte, would you call Chuck, please, right away, get him, it's very important. Well, Pamela, wait a minute, let me see that. It's amazing. children bear a striking resemblance to your grandmother. She wouldn't have it any other way. No? Her strong personality. Uh-huh. Wild as a Kansas jackrabbit. No. <laughs> Confidentially, Mr. Collins, this was not a love match. It wasn't? To marry grandmother and a rebound. Well, it was quite a rebound, wasn't it? <laughs> she was in love with a dashing young cavalry officer. Uh-huh. When he rode off to war, he promised to write, and she promised to wait. Uh-huh. He didn't write, and she didn't wait. No, no, I can see that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I can't get through the check. The line's busy. Oh, all right. I uh, just have to go home and straighten it out myself. Uh, excuse me, Pamela, I'll get back to you about photographing your grandmother. Hey, is that the picture of grandmother? Yes. Hey, that's quite a family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Grandpa. The phone's off the hook in the hall. Never seen a boy so taken with phone snooping. It's a terrible habit. I don't remember who this was. By Joshua. <laughs> My golly. That was took the day I was made a corporal. My, my. I was a handsome devil. <laughs> in them days. <laughs> Old Chucky, look at This in here was tooken. <laughs> that mustache. <laughs> it makes you laugh, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it tickled the girls, too. <laughs> it was a lady killer. Even in them days. <laughs> Grandpa, yes, when you were taking your... Now, back here... Pamela Livingstone. Jane. That's Pamela Livingstone. <laughs> well, that's not Annie Brinkley. At least that's who the girl is. I don't remember what the horse's name was. She looks exactly like Pamela Livingstone. Well, it could be. Although that's a silly name for a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Annie. My goodness. I ain't seen her for... Well, since I rode off to war 60 years ago. You know, I think I owe her a letter. <laughs> Why, set a horse like an Indian, that girl. What's that, Grandpa? No, oh, I don't remember, Chuck. There's so much... Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a poem that she read to me the day I, I rode off to fight. 
Yeah. Jackie, would you just read that for me, please? My glasses is a little steamy. I'm just thinking about Annie. <laughs> yeah. Come back, Josh, when the battle's won. Yeah. Come back, Josh, when the fighting's done. Yeah. I'll be waiting in old Dodge City yeah. to be your bride so young and anxious. <laughs> A horse like an Indian couldn't write poetry for sour apples. But <laughs> well, how come you didn't marry her, Grandpa? Oh, she didn't wait for me. No, she married a traveling man. And I didn't ride salesman out of Kansas City. Nice enough fellow, but he liked to drink. You know, he was putting up a lightning rod one day, and a storm came along. Everybody said that liquor would be the, the end of him. And I want to tell you something, he was really lit up when he went. <laughs> You could see him all the way from the courthouse. But check it, you know, I think I'm going to go up and scrub my hide. Say, tell me, did your uncle ever put a zinc tub in that bathroom? Zinc? Uh, oh, oh, no, no, Grandpa, he's got a shower. No, I don't cotton to them things. You turn one knob and you scold and you turn the other and you freeze. Well, you have to turn them both on at the same time and then regulate the temperature of the water. Yeah, that's what I mean. You got to be an engineer to get clean around here. <laughs> well, I'll turn it on and get it all regulated for you. Oh, what would you do? The old sea, sure, would, would you take the rest of my gear upstairs for me, sure. buddy? Hey, there, boy. Here, I'll just. Oh, thank you, son. Yeah, sure, Grandpa. Yeah, I better put this away. Oh, the men of San Juan Hill. Up they went. Each one carrying a sword that was bent. Turkey dressing in the scabbard. <laughs> they told Teddy not to order these darn things. There ain't no way to clean them out unless you get a long handled toothbrush. Snooping comes in kind of handy at that. <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> Honey, we better make a quick getaway. So I'll just give you a little shove, and we'll start up in gear. never seen a soldier in uniform before. <laughs> Chuck? Oh, hi, Uncle Bob. Boy, where's Grandpa? I think he's in the shower oh, by now. <laughs> Grandpa? Grandpa? All right, you got to come out sometime. I'm going to sit right here and wait until you do. about arranging your photographic city. Well, Mr. Collins was called away unexpectedly. Grandpa! Well, howdy there, Shorty, honey. The boss <laughs> just went home to see you. Yeah, I know about that. Oh, howdy, miss. How do you do? <laughs> I don't think Mr. Collins will be very long. Why don't you just saddle up and stand by, Grand? <laughs> All right, goodbye. Annie! Let me come on. Annie! Why, you ain't 
changed a day in 60 years, girl. <laughs> what are you about, my good man? Shelter, come here. Look. Would you believe that this here woman is over 85 years old? Now, see here. <laughs> see the line. <laughs> You're still lying about your age, ain't you? Certainly <laughs> not. Oh, look at that. <laughs> She's had her face lifted so many times she can't look no way but up. <laughs> Who is this man? You mean you don't remember your old sweetheart? The brave boy in blue that rode off to the west to fight? I wish I'd rode off to the east. I'd have got to Cuba a lot quicker. <laughs> Wait. Just a moment. Is it... Could you be the dashing young cavalry officer who promised to ride my grandmother? Oh, Lord. Did I promise to ride to her, too? <laughs> Was his name Josh Collins? Oh, yes. From Joplin, Missouri? Yes. Well, wait, wait a minute. What'd you call her? Pamela. She's the granddaughter of your old sweetheart. You, Annie Brinkley's granddaughter? Yes. My name is Pamela Livingstone. How do you like that? Named you after a horse. <laughs> I'll go and fetch grandmother immediately. Well, honey, wait, wait a minute. How romantic. What a reunion of old lovers. No, honey, look, look you... Oh, I ain't interested in old lovers. I sure didn't come out here to be trapped by no man-hungry widow with ten kids either. Here's her back way out of here, shall she? You will wait just a second, will you, Grandpa? Shall she? Mm hmm You calling Bobby, are you? Why, no. Hello? Uh, look, Grandpa, would you wait just a second? Right here? Wait, wait, just a minute. Right there. Right there. Well, I think it's phone tapping time again. Now, you come out of there, you waterlogged old goat, or I'm going to come in after you. If You can outsmart Margaret, but not me. Hello. Boss, to Schultze. Oh, hello, Schultze. Your grandfather's here at the studio. I know very... <laughs> what? When I get there, so help me, I'm going to lock that old codger in the dark room. Yeah, I certainly feel guilty taking a bad habit like this away from Chucky. What am I? Honey. Oh, Grandma Collins! <laughs> At your service. <laughs> <laughs> what is this uniform? What? Well, this is the first United States Cavalry Volunteers. You remember Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders? No, you see, I spent most of my life in Sweden. Honey. Oh, yeah, that's right. See, you know, I think I rode through your country one time on the way to Cuba. <laughs> to Sweden? Well, I took kind of a roundabout route, you see. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little secret for you. This fella ain't in there. Do you know where he is? Do I? <laughs> that young scamp don't make a move I don't know about. Give me a hand. Where are we going? To Bobby's house. But I'm supposed to have my picture. Oh, don't you worry about that. I'll blast a glossy at you. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have any Missouri cider? No. Good. <laughs> oh, what the heck do you mean he got away? Where did he go? Well, I don't know, boss. He just disappeared. Well, Ingrid was due here at 1 o'clock. Where's she? I don't know. She hasn't shown up yet. Well, it's not like Ingrid. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't suppose that Grandpa... Whatever it is, I think he would. We better start tracking him down. Yeah, honey, just relax there. Whilst I load my flesh powder. If you, oh. Say, why don't you just have another glass of cider whilst you're waiting? <laughs> you know, I brung this all the way from Missouri. Just for you. <laughs> yes, and what did you say it was made for? Just the juice of fresh, wholesome apples. <laughs> I wonder why I'm so light here. Yeah, well, that's probably because you're a Swede. I don't recollect ever seeing a dark-headed Swede. <laughs> well, skull. <laughs> you, or as you say in your country, 
Here's mud in your eye. <laughs> oh, ain't that wonderful? I tell you, nature's got a Grandpa, wonderful gift. Don't you hear the bell ringing? Well, they must have been vintage apples. <laughs> See, you don't usually hear bells ringing until after the third glass. But I believe this is the telephone. By golly, you're right. It does sound sort of flat. Yeah, cider bells generally got more melody to them. <laughs> After three glasses, I've heard the Missouri waltz just as clear as if Harry was picking it out. <laughs> Josh Collins talking. He finally answered, oh. boss. Grandpa. Well, hello there, Bobby boy. Grandpa, listen, do you have Ingrid with you? Well, yes, I was just having a nice, friendly glass of cider. Grandpa. You're not giving her any of that Ozark lightning. <laughs> Wait right there. I'm on my way home. Oh, God, it's your thing. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Wait, Wait a minute. Look, Where's Paul. Where's she at? Where's who? Well, good land of Goshen. You, you're your Josh family. Collins, it's... It's you. No, no, wait, wait a minute. You, you have me. You know, I'm shaving getting... off that mustache no, listen. made you look some 60 year no, younger. No, excuse me. Let me, let me explain to you. Sit down there, boy. What, what, just a second. woman. Schultz, you do something. You, you believe you're... that this here fellow's now a 90 year old? I can. Now, <laughs> wait a minute. Now, listen to me. No, honey. We'll just snap a quick one here, and then we'll throw the rest of that turkey in the hamper, and we'll head for the beach. Do you think that's all right for Mr. Collins? <laughs> you bet it is. Now, you just... You know something? Doggone it, I've lost my flash powder someplace. <laughs> Grandpa, that's apple juice. Yeah. <laughs> All right now, honey. Just give me a nice, bright, friendly grin. That's it. How about a little of that cheesecake there? <laughs> right now. Hold it! I think you're gonna like this, Chromo. <laughs> Easy. Now, let's get the turkey and we'll head for the beach. Let me... I've only seen myself a dark-headed Swede. <laughs> we'll be with the same man. If we hurry, we can catch him. Yeah. Just you wait till I get my hands on that old gray wolf. No, believe me, I want to get him first. Darn it, I forgot. What's the matter, sir? My, my car, my nephew has it. Excuse me. Uh, Schulte, uh, honey, would you call us a cab, please? Oh, no, no, Sonny, we won't need no taxi. I got transportation parked right out in front. Oh, oh never, never mind, Schulte. Oh, elevator, please. Come on, Grandma. I'm Mrs. Livingstone. Come on, Ingrid! Did I get all this cooked out? Oh, yeah, honey, you look like a grime golden. Yeah, there's just a little fallout on top there. Don't you worry, though. A dip in the ocean will fix that. Oh, you just sat right down there, honey. That's it. Wait a minute, Mrs. Livingstone. Stop this thing. Let me off. Are they gaining on us? Yes. They're heading what? west. We're going up to the ocean. Ain't I'm sunny. Hey, Taxi. Taxi. You just dumped the rest of this here cider in the gas tank. <laughs> we'll lose them. Taxi. Stone and Grandma were played by Nancy Coke, and Ingrid Goode played herself. 
This is Bill Baldwin speaking.